the how's it mates uh, this is captain cutlass here and uh, we are in war tier 10 shimikaze and um, for those of you who are probably in the know project r has now unlocked triple xp so this is the first game i've played since uh, the triple xp was released or it was available five o'clock UK time on a Saturday so let's see how what we can do here today um, I've had the, the Shimikaze now a day two days I can't remember uh, two days I think <coughs> excuse me and um, yeah, it's not bad a little bit slow it's because I'm going three-quarter speed um, yeah it's not bad that's all i can say at the moment um i think i need to get a bit used to it that's what i need to do get used to this one um it really helps not to be detected so i found that once i get detected especially if i'm going up against uh, the the gunboat destroyers you know they can really make you make life difficult because the engine damage seems to get come up really quickly on this on these well all the Japanese destroyers really um you the first hit of the day and your and your engines out you know and you're using a repair and then a minute later it's out again so I don't know it's a little bit I just feel like the the engine damage is a bit excessive for the destroyers because in real life, being a ship's engineer myself, um, that's not going to happen, really. You know, the, all the air sudden the engine ain't going to stop working. Um, bearing in mind, the Shimikaze, if I remember correctly, it's either triple screw or uh, twin, I'm not sure. I'll have to have a look when we're not moving the same. Um, and that generally means you've got three engines connected one driving each shaft so I know come on let's be realistic here I'm a little hit from the first couple of HE shells near engine you got no engine at all I don't think so maybe that's one to look at wargaming the engine damage on destroyers it's maybe a little bit excessive. It's a little bit too easy, but or a bit too infrequent. You know, I can, I can understand it once, but twice in a row, every hit is just a bit ridiculous. So anyway, back to the game. We've got an Otago here. Who's oh, who's taking a big pound, isn't he? There's no point in me. Three thousand. I'm not going to torp him. We'll get this cap. Where are these planes going? They turn into carrier, obviously. Uh, Yamoto, he's going to go behind there. Well, they got one destroyer over on the on the east side of the map. That's fine. So there's another one somewhere. And it looks like we've got all the caps so far. So they're going to have to push in, or they're going to be at a disadvantage. But which way are they going to come? That's a tricky question. Who's this coming down here? And there's another Otago. Let's take a pop at him anyway. He's going to round the bend and he's going to speed up a little bit, isn't he? Let's uh, try that. Now, I see a lot of Shimikaze drivers. They set off all 15 torpedoes in one go. I'm like, oh, what are you doing that for? I don't understand that at all. I think you're probably better to keep uh, a set ready, especially if you're not sh you don't know where the other destroyer is. I better watch myself. I'm going to get a bit close here. He's probably going to start turning. And now I'm spotted. Oh God! Turn off the guns. Amateur mistake there. And of course, Itago's now realised where I am. 
Now we're gonna get him. Come on, Wargaming, sort out the torpedo view. Oh, yeah, we got it. We got one strike. That'll do. So here's a request if anyone from Wargaming is watching. Please let us rotate the torpedo view. I really want to do that. Because when I'm recording it, I really want to see them hitting the damn boat. You know what I'm saying? Right, Montana's coming down this way. Let's uh, get off an early spread. Oh, he's <laughs> he's probably not going to survive. Oh, and there's another hit. I got a hit on the, the Yamato, I believe it was, right at the top of the screen there. So that was a lucky strike. I wasn't even aiming for him. So the Tago's thinking, I'm getting out of here. I don't know, I still don't know where the other destroyer is. I've got a sneaky suspicion. Okay, so they were wasted torps. The, uh, the, was it a Yamato? Yeah, I think it was. No, no, it was the Montana. He's, he's down. So Montana's out of the equation. Let's uh, push up towards this Yamato. What's he going to do? He looks like he wants to come down through the gap, doesn't he? He'll probably... I think he'll use the island just north of me for cover, though. If he's got any sense. Um, oh, what's he... I don't know what he's planning. Let's get a quick look. He's gone very slow, isn't he? Uh, just a little tip for you, just switch to guns and have a quick look, see what he's doing, see where he's pointing, you know, from your torpedo view. You're like, oh, what's he doing? I don't know. Switch to your guns, have a look. Now he's starting to turn. Who have I hit now? I sunk a cruiser. I don't know how that happened. There you go, just shows you. A little bit of luck. So what I'm going to do, he's going to probably speed up. So we'll... We'll give him a little tickle with this. And I think that, that cruiser that I got there, that was just pure luck. Absolute luck. That must have been... Well, that's what happens when your torpedoes go for 15 kilometers, isn't it? But I'll take that any day of the week. Any day of the week. <coughs> so these guys... They're not really pushing on any, any of the caps, are they? Oh, they have got C now. And here goes the torpedoes at the Yamato. He's now started to speed up, which was too late for him. And how many hits are we going to get? Four? One, two, three. Oh, look at that. Five hits. Okay, so the next one, let's go for the Montana. I don't want, I'm not bored about capping now. Look at the score. Let's use a boost. Head north. Now the Montana, he's probably going to turn. Well, let's have a look. What's he doing? Yeah, he's starting to turn. So he's going to head back east, which is perfect for me because it means he's come into my sphere of operation. I still got all the whom. Okay, I'm not worried about that. Montana might be bothered now that he's spotted me, but there's my fighters. If they take out that spotter, that'd be great. Come on, fighters. Get him. So let's get ready for this Montana. Um, we'll go a bit closer. We'll close the range on him a bit. Okay. Nice hack from the enemy turp as well. I don't know. Just people use these hacks. I don't know. Let's lead it a little bit. I close the distance again. He's moving away from me. <coughs> it won't be such a wide spread when they get there. What's he down to? Forty thousand. He's his health's coming down rapidly. So I want to get in there nice and close. Because right now he's panicking. He's focused on the, the Zuma and the Mogami. He's not going, oh, there's a Shimikaze around here, is there? 
Right. How's the torps looking? See, look at that. I want to turn. I want to turn the view. What's going on with this? It's rubbish. Wargaming, sort it out. We want rotation. Now, I might as well switch to guns, to be honest. I... Let's give him some guns. Oh! Wasn't even looking there. Okay, so. Not a bad outing. Oh, look at that XP. 9,200. So, seven torpedo hits, one incapacitation, two destroyed, six floods, and capture the base. And. Oh, yeah, brilliant. Look at that. 50,000 crits for four ship torpedo hits in one battle. I can live with that. And liquidator. Liquidator, or I don't know. Right. Team score. And there we are. Cutlass 7 2. Top of the board. I'll take that any day of the week. Thank you. And what have we got? Torpedoes launched. 78,671 damage. And there's a the flood and damage. Excellent. So the Yamato and the Otago. Passion card ET. Sorry about that, but you made my video. Let that be a lesson to you. Okay. Uh, that's Captain Cutlass uh, signing off. Thanks for watching.